Hey, it's Lebo again. Got a Bally mousing around it's from 1989. This game belongs to a cousin of mine. He picked this game up and also this Hurricane. The Hurricane uh, hadn't gotten much attention just yet. I've done a little bit of lighting work on it, but uh, that one's coming up here soon. But today I wanted to go over uh, the project, uh, mousing around, everything that was done to it and uh, turned out well. Place Crate is a fun game. Let's get started. Okay, just getting starting out with the whole game. When we first picked it up, uh, really the game was in great condition. Uh, it, was, it was a bit dirty, uh, had a lot of incandescent bulbs in it. It did have some LEDs. They weren't really that great LEDs, uh, so I ended up replacing them. Um, but the game just had a very yellow look to it. And one of the first things that it did was all the LEDs over the back, uh, I actually put a cool white, um, or natural white, I guess they call it, in the back. And let's see if I can open this up. Come on down. It likes to get hung up a little bit. So normally you wouldn't think that that color would be a good idea on a game that has those yellow and red kind of colors in it, but it worked. It um, it, it helped to, to kind of balance out the the yellow that was in the back and sort of tone it down. So glad I put those in. They're all frosted, uh, natural, cool whites. The displays, the one on the right, um, was one of the segments on every one of them. Actually, it was more than one. Uh, was out. One of the ones I think that went diagonal was also a problem. And I attempted to try to fix that, but I could tell that uh, there were a couple prongs or leads that went right to the glass that were broken right off the glass and there's just really nothing you can do. It's, you, there's no place to solder something on. And even still, I ran a jumper to try to see if that, that would fix it just by holding something there to test and it, it never would lit up. So unfortunately, it really was not salvageable on the right. So the whole display kit, the left and the right, the whole new ones with an LED, uh, based uh, pin score display was installed and definitely glad that, that we did that. Um, of course, flashers that are LED flashers in the back. So opening up to the back, as far as what has been done inside, I do still have the batteries here and I intend to actually take those off. I'll probably just relocate that uh, to a box off the side, um, something that I meant to have already done, but I just have not done yet. Um, I did have to rebuild, where is it? Oh, I can't seem to find it right now. There's one of the connectors back here that I did have to rebuild. Um, and certainly there, there's a connector that's in the back of the play field. Once I get down to the bottom, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more. But it did have the typical, um, kind of the fried connector housing that, that can cause uh, a whole row or multiple rows or columns of lights to be totally out in this one. It had that as well. Um, what you do see in the, as far as what's back here, uh, the, for the power supply, I did replace all the capacitors. Um, I think we did have a fuse that was blown. Nothing, uh, once I put a new one in, it wasn't anything that was a problem. Uh, it does have the OCD LED board to help smooth out uh, the flicker that is inherent with LEDs uh, on on games such as this and make, made just a huge difference. Um, I guess that's, for the most part, everything that there is here in the back. Okay, when I first started looking at the uh, the play field of the game, uh, it was just, you know, needed a good, good cleaning. It was dusty and dirty in some spots. Uh, there was a few lights that were out, uh, just, just you know, some dark spots. Um, and I did notice uh, a couple of things that were just kind of weird, like um, 
there's uh, some stand-up targets this, this part right here will raise. And uh, part of the play of the game is you'll have, uh, there's a number one, two, and three, and one will be flashing first, which is means that you want to actually hit the, the one first. And when you hit the one first, then it would, it would go solid, and then, then the two starts blinking, you want to hit that, and then the three will be blinking, and when you hit that, once you hit it, it drops down, so then you can shoot the ball up here, and it goes up and down this ramp. Well, what was strange is that if you hit the one target, uh, it was the switch that was tied or, or that was behind the target was actually tied to the number three light, and the switch that was behind the number three target was really tied to the one light. It took me a little while playing it to see that that was apparent that that was that was wrong, uh, but I got that taken care of. Uh, I think I mentioned a moment ago that. Uh, there was a connector here in the back that uh, it was in actually pretty rough shape. It looked like it had been worked on before, but uh, not real well. So recreated that whole connector. Uh, I think that was the one that where the wire that came into that then fed down through uh, eight other lights that were on that same row that uh, caused um, some other controlled lights uh, to actually not not be there, not working. But anyways, uh, got, the, got the play filled out, put it on the rotisserie, tore everything down, uh, and during the whole time frame, started thinking about, well, how, how could we enhance the lighting a little bit, which is something I do, something I enjoy doing every time I'm working on a game. And for this one, um, it, it wasn't like it was really super, super dark. It just, it, it needed the freshening of the bulbs and uh, and cleaning, but I did do a few little tricks in some spots that, that were particularly dark. There is a strip of, of LEDs that are uh, tucked around here in the back. Uh, probably the most obvious thing is I, I did go with the ring uh, lights that are on the pop bumpers. Um, there's other spots like underneath this ramp here. Uh, I actually added in two more sockets uh, the lights that the original ones that are there are actually right down here. And when it lights up, th there's this cheesy bonus when lit. You, you really couldn't tell that it was, it was really telling you much. So I put an additional set of, of lights in the bag. And now from the actual player's perspective, you can, you can see it and read it a lot easier. Um, as, as far as other lighting is concerned, uh, down here actually, closer towards the, the front on the slings. Added a couple spotlights. Uh, did add a trough light. So uh, overall, it, it helped really kind of balance it out. Uh, most of the lights are the warm white. Um, I think there were a, there are a couple places where I did color match it. Like the inserts, I typically will uh, color match those just to give it a... a more brilliant look, except for the yellows that I tend to, to actually, you know, yellow inserts, I will put a warm white in behind it. Um, th this blue, and actually the blues that were up here toward the top, I think I actually used an ice blue for that. Just It just had a nice, uh, looked nice with the insert. And speaking of inserts, a number of these inserts uh, had some pretty big issues. Uh, the, the extra ball that's down here at the bottom uh, looking at it closer, it was actually cracked, uh, almost sort of a, a, almost a hole worn somehow in the middle. Uh, and the wording, the extra ball wording on it was, was mostly gone. The six inserts here, these yellow ones, uh, they, they were this dingy, kind of a dingy look, but the bigger issue was most of the letters, uh, had, uh, some, if not most, of the letter actually worn away. These two inserts here are original. I did not replace those. Uh, the, the, there was a green one and a red one over here. Those were replaced. And what I actually got was just the, the blank inserts in the right color and the right shape and all. And then I had to get decals. And that was the first time I'd ever put the decals on inserts. But they turned out actually pretty nice. So taking the old inserts out getting the new ones in, popping the old one out is really not too bad. I just had to heat it up and uh, just carefully 
drifted out, but then scraping out the old uh, adhesive. Uh, that was a little more time consuming and, and really pretty critical. Uh, getting a new insert in, it's, it's important that you get it as flush as possible. And there are some of these that can feel a little bit of a bump up to where it's not completely flush, but it, it's, it's not really causing a problem. There's a couple times where I can tell where it looks like the ball might be making it, feeling like it's making a little bit of a bump. But yeah, all six of these were replaced. The two over there were replaced. This one right here, this large, I think that's a two inch or maybe two and a half inch uh, insert. That is new. I also added in uh, a couple extra sockets to really put a nice pop of light behind it. These two clear arrows, there's no um, artwork on those arrows, so there was no decal to go put on it, but I, I popped out the old ones, put in the new ones. If you look at the picture of an old one versus a new one, the old one's yellowed quite a bit. That isn't the actual original yellow of it. It was, it was clear, didn't have any color to it, uh, but it, it just, they just got uh, kind of yellowed out plastic. So the new ones look a lot, lot clearer. The V ramps, polished those out nice and did a flame polish on them on top of it. So that's where we run the butane torch just along the surface and it just clears it right out. So all the clear ramps got that treatment. This little guard on the top, that's a new piece that I created uh, just out of some Lexan that I already have. That's eighth inch Lexan. I traced the old piece and cut it on the bandsaw, uh, polished the edges, uh, drilled new holes, and it worked out fine. The reason why I replaced it is that um, I didn't have a replacement for it. I think I did find someone did actually sell this one, uh, but I just decided to make my own because I could, and it wasn't that hard to do. But the original one had yellowed quite a bit. There's also a guard up here, maybe a little hard to tell them in the camera view, if you can see it up there. See if I can actually point a little better. Oh yeah, there we go. So there's the two. So yeah, there's there's this guard here that I was referring to, and then the one that's back here. This one, uh, I also had to recreate. There is a gate that's down at the the um, down here at the the right hand side. The gate was uh, dragging pretty bad. When you would launch the ball, it would slow it down on its way up. And while I was working to try to make that uh, work a little bit better. Um, and they're breaking it. So I couldn't uh, find any place that actually made that, that gate, the, the wire itself. Um, but I have uh, actually created a new one, got the, the actual wire, the right uh, diameter itself, and um, bent a new one into shape so that it, it functions just as good as the original one did. It actually it's working better. I'm not having the issue with it dragging, so that turned out turned out nice. The mouse traps. There is a mouse trap here, and there's one there that's now lit up. Um, they were super dirty. Took them apart, cleaned them really good. As I was, uh, or actually before I took it apart, I noticed that part of the the housing that holds that whole contraption was uh, cracked a fair amount. And in the process of doing this work on it, that crack got a lot worse. So I had to uh, basically do some repair work to get that, that crack closed up. And I have added in, uh, also out of some Lexan, uh, some splints that go around the whole housing. It's, it's using a hobby grade super glue uh, that holds the whole side uh, together to really reinforce it. So that really should should never really be an issue anymore. Uh, all of the bands were replaced with uh, the Titan silicone bands. So, uh, and oh, and also the original pop bumper caps. Uh, we had there was or it probably wasn't original, but what when it came to to me to work on, there was a yellow one, a yellow one, and a red one, which I thought actually kind of neat. But I went back to just yellow, yellow, and yellow uh, at the same time of of rebuilding them with with the lights. Throwing the, 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 uh, those ring lights do just a really nice job of throwing light down onto the play field in that area. So that, that was really important. So anyways, um, just moving a little bit more towards the front of the game. Uh, only other minor things was that 
course, put new instruction cards in. Uh, this The lock bar receiver, um, sandblasted that down, uh, put in, or then painted it, and then put up one of those little finishers that comes from Titan just to kind of clean it up. Of course, rebuilt you know, the ball launcher, uh, put in new uh, flipper buttons, uh, rebuilt the flippers, and that's really the main uh, part of the major parts that were done for this this game. So that's about it. We're gonna give a <laughs> give the game a try. Okay, just a real quick overview of a few things to do in the game. I won't go over everything, but at least just give a an idea of some of the things that you're trying to accomplish. When you uh, first start the game or whenever you're getting ready to just first uh, launch the ball for each ball, uh, there will be one of the three lanes lit up at the top and you are trying to land the ball into one of the, whichever lane is lit up. You don't have any lane control um, where you can change the lit up lane during the launch, uh, but after the ball has gone through one of the three lanes, hopefully the one that was the lit one, uh, which will give you a bonus if you do, uh, after that, uh, you, what you are trying to do is get the ball to bounce back up through and light through uh, the other two unlit lanes. Uh, during that time, you can use either flipper uh, to move the lit or wh whichever lit, if it's one or two lit uh, lanes, it, it will move them over the side and just you know cycle through. That way you can move an unlit lane uh, right where a ball's getting ready to roll over. Uh, so once you get all three of them lit up, uh, that that increases the uh, multiplier of your bonus at the end of that round. And so the first time you do all, all three of them, it will light up the 2x multiplier, which will double the bonus. And if you get all three of them a third time, it lights up uh, the 3x uh, multiplier for your bonus. I think if you do it more times after that, I don't know that it, I don't know that it gives you anything for that. So, okay, that's the first thing you're trying to do. Um, some other things that you are trying to accomplish is down here at the bottom where you have cheese, it's you know, the six uh, letters here that spell the word cheese, you're trying to light all those up. And the, once you light them all up, it will open up a gate here such that whenever you shoot the ball up this lane, you'll, you will shoot for the mouse hole. You'll hear the game say, shoot for the hole. And that's what it's talking about. It, it says that once all six of these are lit up. Now the way you light up all six of these, or light up uh, each one at a time, if you shoot either this lane where it passes through that gate and it rolls down over this little switch here, or if you shoot up this other side and it comes around and then it goes over the switch here, both of those will, each time you do that, will earn you another letter. Uh, also, if you can get it up this ramp uh, as it passes over through that, that will also give you a letter. Now, to get into this ramp, it's it's blocked. When you first start out the game, uh, the the uh, what they call the drop target. It's a whole bank of three targets uh, that's all raised up. And the way you, you get those down, you have to do it in order. There is a, a target one, two, and three. One will be blinking. When you hit it, it will go solid. Then two will be blinking. Uh, once you hit it, it goes solid. Then three will be blinking. Once you hit three, then uh, that gate lowers down, allowing you to uh, really actually kind of continually, if you needed to, if you can aim and make it the shot, you can just shoot it right into the scoop and it comes up and down the ramp uh, over on the right hand side. Um, another thing that you're going to try to accomplish, uh, you've got the word mouse here and trap over here. So when you get all five of these targets and all four of these targets, as you hit them, uh, the letter that corresponds to the target uh, will, will light up. Once they're all lit up, the mouse traps, which is located, there's one here. It's a block of cheese. Uh, uh, it will raise up, and then there's one that's down in here that will also raise up. And now those are your ball locks for multi-ball. So you're going to want to try to shoot a ball in here, and it will capture it into that lock, and then it will pull it down and hold the ball. Same way on this side. When you shoot it over there, it will grab the ball and uh, pull it down. By the way, you know the the, uh, the trap is set, meaning that it's ready to go um, or it's ready to, to capture that ball, the, this trap set uh, insert will be blinking. And once you 
hit the ball into the trap and it pulls it down, you know that the, the ball is there because it will actually, that light will be all solid illuminated. Uh, there's a couple other points in the game where you can actually get an extra ball. The extra ball lights are right here when they are lit. If you hit it on either one of those ramps, you will get an extra ball and the insert down here at the bottom will light up. Uh, there is also a, another point in the game that when the cheese insert is, I think it's this the right one, or maybe it's the, it's the score. I think that is the right one. When score is lit, if you can hit the ball over here, the, the trap will be down, so you'll roll the ball over that. If you hit that yellow target in the back, that will then light up this big insert here, and it says play field scores are double. And so when that thing is lit up, uh, all your, your scores throughout the game are double. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to mention is that, you know, when you do actually have... Um, uh, I guess cheese it's already spilled or already spelled out and the skate opens when you do launch the ball and you get it in here in in the mouse hole uh, that is to actually earn the jackpot that would have that's displayed up on the back box uh, that's what you, you would earn now if you are in if I believe this is correct if it, you're in multi ball so oh by the way yeah once you lock the ball here and you lock the ball here you shoot another ball. As soon as it hits uh, any of these rollover targets, it will release the other two balls to begin multi-ball. If while in multi-ball, you get another ball, I think you have to maybe lock them both first. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I, I do know that once you hit the ball into the gate, if you can get it in this mouse hole again, uh, that's a, that's a, you'll get a, a big jackpot. So. That's a very rough overview on some of the objectives of the game, so now I'm gonna give it a try. So you wanna mouth around? You see, and now you have, well, maybe hard to see from that angle, but there is lane change up at the top. And right now, I'm, I'm gonna try to shoot for that uh, number one in the middle. And, of course, I drained. I did get the number one, though. <laughs> sound oh there it went okay so now i've got my play fields are double slip there so if i should be able to get double points on everything while that's blinking. the right target is just dropped so now i can shoot it up the center you heard it say head for the hole so let's see if i can post pass this there we go oh get it back here uh that's a hard shot from the right flipper to try to get it up the hole you really have to shoot it from the left side. And it's kind of a tough shot. Oh. Let's see if I can get it into the mouth hole. Oh, just did it. Drained it. That's kind of a, a rough overview of the game. It's really fun. And I'm glad to have worked on it and glad that it's going to the family. So it's going to be awesome. Hope everybody enjoys it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video.